Hello and welcome back. So this is again another Poundland summer haul for camping equipment or survival equipment. So I've been to Poundland again this year and um, I think I've done it a little bit earlier this year because last year I went I did it in June. Um, it's now just at the end of April and starting to move on to and they've started to release their camping equipment already. There's probably going to be some more lines coming over very very shortly because when I went there a lot of the stuff which was there last year, some of the stuff which was there last year the way of things like tarps I'm sitting on, some shelter making equipment wasn't actually there but they have increased their travel line and which we could probably introduce that to camping at the same time so a lot of my haul this year is going to be some of the travel related items in which we could use inside bushcraft and survival also a few other things which um, I've seen different and there's some news and then there's quite a lot of stuff which has already been used in the past I've um, checked my other video if you want to see last year's stuff but I do have a little bit of last year's stuff still sitting here which we can talk about um, some of the some of the changes or some of the things they've had which is still the same this year but so let's have a quick look so the first thing I'm gonna do is go for the travel items and see what we actually got over there there's other stuff I thought was actually quite good my daughter suffers with motion sickness and that quite a lot and now Poundland have now started to bring out their own version of travel bands I'm gonna come a little bit closer I think let's come a little bit closer Right, here we go. Yeah, so they've got their own travel sickness bands and we've been using these now for about three weeks and we do general quite a few journeys and she needs to eat along the journey to go for a gymnastics and since using these we haven't actually used a single tablet um, and she hasn't had any sickness or nausea or anything so for a pound that's not bad so this is I bought a second set because one set worked really well so I thought I'd go buy myself a second set and to allow her to go over there so the first one so if you want to get your kids outside um, that's a good way of getting them outside if they do feel a little bit nauseous right another little thing we've got in the way of the travel sort of items and they've got quite a few organizers for suitcases and some bags and that sort of stuff and it's quite nice to have your kit bags organized and sort of ready to find stuff so they do have these little packing bags so with that ginormous barcodes but this is a little mesh bag in which you could put your toiletries inside it or you can put your clothing shove that inside your kit so when you get to your base camp you just grab out your stuff you've got all your your kit everything inside there and it's quite a nice little thing just to keep it all organized so they do have organizers you'll see a theme very shortly it's blue because my oldest son loves going out with me and he loves the color blue so everything i bought is blue this year but they do have other colors yeah there's pinks there's yellows and that sort of stuff and here comes the rain what a lovely day but we'll 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 crack on yeah we'll crack on go through this nice other little thing for the organizers sort of stuff is they do have a, a what we call in the uk a bum bag and i think i'm um, in the us you call them a fanny pack but i like the name bum bag a little bit better um, we do have a little bag um he likes to take his my son brings his binoculars along with him he brings his camera along with him his pockets because he's a child his pockets aren't big enough to put his phone and that inside it so maybe a little bag it's only a little bag just like this just to shove around around him if he doesn't want to wear it around his waist and put it on the side i think that's quite a nice little thing so we can use that to add a little few things or for us using camera equipment just bung a quick camera inside it instead of putting it inside the pocket so we've got that there as well and the last sort of thing in um in storage um, again they had these three bags um come out you got the smir little smellies the laundry and the, the, these two bigger ones are zip ties this one's a zip one i do i did buy two lots of these last year the zip did go eventually sort of on it but the other one is still going strong but for a pound for three bags to put inside your kit to sort things out it's always really really handy um, so i use them for like the little one i have my basic sort of condiments and that inside there and the bigger one i put I, I tend to use it for one of my stoves when it's when it's dirty when it's all dry and, and, um, and when it's all clean and dry and and not hot i get inside there to stop any soot or dirt um, like my pans and that sort of stuff getting inside my kit bag i'd rather waste one of these for a pound than actually oh 33p than than actually anything else so that is for the storage side of it um, now we go on to some other little things just to help in the travel line. Um, my, my son finds it hard to sleep night time sometimes when there's a load of lights sort of coming around. But he sleeps indoors with a light on. Finds it hard to sleep in the tent with lights but, but, but they did have 
some eye masks for a pound again. So nice little blue one. I think that is it for the travel. Um, on the same sort of theme for tra oh, it's so uncomfortable because last year they had a stool so I could sit on a stool. This year they don't have a stool, so I need to kneel on the floor. Oh, I'm giving myself cramp as this kneel up. They do have a, a waterproof phone cover. I have um, an S and a Samsung S8, and I've also got a, a case on the back of it. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, it's a Samsung S8, and it has a, ca a case on the back that fits inside this. And I've used this. I took it out of the water. Um, a few days ago. I haven't done a submersion test, but you can actually still use my touchscreen with the phone case. Um, I've filled it up with air and I've squeezed it and it doesn't comes out. I think I've got it here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I've got it here. It's open. Yeah, it's got some air inside it. There's no air coming out of that at all and it's still holding it. So when there's no air coming out, it's probably going to tell me um, it's going to be okay. And I've just put a nail dent on it and it still seems to be fine. And now we're coming on to more sort of outdoory, sort of picnic-y sort of thing. They do have a white, a white clean ta plastic table cover. So last year they had tarps and that sort of land around there might be some tarps inside the other section but in their travel and camping section they didn't have any there at currently at the time they did have wipe clean tablecloths it is 137 centimeters by 182 so i'm 165 centimeters so if i at a real big push if i want to use this as a shelter it will actually cover me but anyone more sort of over there so you could use it as a bit of a shelter and they do have some rain ponchos as well so they, again they come in different colors they come in two um, what's it it's just one shower proof one this year so last year I had two inside that and this is a 72 by 104 centimeters sort of rain color if it starts pouring down rain very shortly i will crack this open and i will put it on and i can give you a full test on the video over there <laughs> Right, it's been about nearly 10 minutes. It, the rain hasn't really set up any, any harder than the light spit. But I can't really see this thing failing any too much. It's basically what it is, is a, a bin bag. A bin bag with breathability. <laughs> I'm sort of on the top. And we all know how waterproof bin bags are. But um, it's for kids. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you don't get it for yourself. Make sure you get it for your kid. And don't make that silly mistake I did. Um, the poppers are okay. It's sort of poppers. Some of the poppers didn't do up all right. The seams seem to be fairly, fairly good. Or sort of on the seam, how they're attached. What is it? It's a <laughs> a bin bag with a hood. So what more can I say? <laughs> I think that is it for the sheltery sort of side. Um, we're now going to move over to see what we actually going to have for the camping line. All oh, right, there we go. Should have put the GoPro out. It's on charge. I don't see if hope they don't get too wet. The DSLR won't get too wet, but it's splash proof and waterproof. All right, so camping. So let's go through this. So unlike all, all, all the years, they've always had their water bottles. These are aluminium. They're single skin water bottles. They hold 500 mils. I've used them for lots of videos. You can see up here, I've, count, I've put them in fires many a times and I have no issues. The only time I've actually broke one is recently Here's, this one's falling over a couple of times, got a few nicks and dents and the very top plastic bit just fell on the floor because it has got oh, some water inside it, it fell down and the weight chipped a little edge. But other than that, I'm still keeping the bottle because if I ruin one of the bottles in the fire, I can, I've can. i still got the plastic cap so I can switch the cap over. So we do have, again it's blue to give himself a black one last year so I'm going to thought I'd give him a nice blue one this year. Um, in the drinking sort of theme, they had a little plastic cup. Fortunately, they only had yellow inside my pound land, but it's one of those collapsible cups, holds 170 mils. And simply all we do is just lift it open, take the lid off, pop it down. And now I've got myself a nice little collapsible cup, which we can drink out of. And then when I finish with that, just pop it all back together again. We get after a little rinse out, put my lid on just to make sure it keeps it nice and hygienic clean inside there. So I thought a nice little thing. It's silicone, so it should be heat resistant. With the, with the storage water thing, 
Again, they've got the inflatable 10 litre jerry cans. I have, I have used these in the past uh, for camping. It's really good for the camping. Uh, the water, I had a bit of an issue sometimes coming out of the spout, but one of them worked really well, one of them didn't. But after the camp, I couldn't get it down nice and flat. So in the end I had to, I couldn't fit it back in the bag. So in the end I had to dispose of it. So it is like a one-off use water carry thing but I had it for I used it for over a week and it was fine for that sort of thing for storing my water it made it a bit easier so we've got one of those so that's from the water side of it and right so the comfort side for camping they've got their pillows back so they do have two sorts of pillows they've got the travel ones that go around your neck they've also got their sleeping ones i've used these in the past i've got an orange one i've used it all the time and i've used it for over a year now and i've had no issues whatsoever nice and comfortable it doesn't have that sticky stuff and you know you feel on the side of it um it's quite sort of velvety stuff on the side so quite nice then we've got a torch so they've got the the old basic little LED torches, takes three AAA batteries, it has a whole bunch of LEDs, I don't have any lights inside there, but they work, um, they're good for small little stuff, um, walking around, look, looking around inside the campsite, or inside your shelter, you build over there, it's not going to throw a whole load of light out there, because it's, it, it doesn't say how many lumens it is, but, yeah, and it says do not expose to the rain or wet, so they're not waterproof whatsoever, so to use under your shelter, it's raining here, so it's perfect. I'll expose the rain now. But if you want, to, if you want some more light inside your kit, they do have a little lantern. So last year I had one of those pull-up lanterns. Um, I don't have it with me, um, but they did have a pull-up lantern last year. This year they have a little hanging light. It takes a little round sort of watch type battery, and it's just a whole bunch of LEDs inside the bulb. So it's not the brightest thing, but it's going to give you a little bit of ambient light. Inside your shelter, if you just want to hang it down, just want to just sort of ambient light inside your inside your basher. Right, so we've got that. Um, with the shelter building, again, we've got a mallet. Remember last year, I, I took the hood off. I thought, what's the point of having the handle that comes off? I checked 15 mallets inside Poundland, and they all spun. They all spun around. Um, but <coughs> when I'm smashing sort of little pink pegs in, they hold it. They do have the tent pegs back. They have a pack of 10 aluminium tent pegs and they also have a pack of these plastic tarp tent pegs with a puller as well. So for a pound you get 10 plastic ones or you get 10 aluminium ones. The aluminium ones are very thin. You can bend them quite over. So they do work but you just got to bear in mind um, what you're going to be putting them into. If you put them to hard ground, if you use one of these, you're going to just smack them over or bend them straight away. But they do have these ground spikes inside of the kit. Coming on the final sort of things, um, they've got some little carabiners. Last year they had three carabiners, different sizes. This year they've got a pack of four carabiners, comes in four different colours at the moment. And um, I quite like having some carabiners uh, inside the kit. You can just use them for things. I use them for tarps inside my shelter. When I put my ridge line up, in the tarp I tend to put some carabiners inside there and I can hang things off the ridge line um, sort of lights and stuff like that so you've got to think you've got a light over here a little carabiner on your ridge line you can hold it so you don't have to thread anything through so for a pound for four little ones non climbing quite a nice little system um, then I was looking for other things in the storage what in the travel section they had a packet of three little 200 mil pots um, fresh lock sort of pops which you can put your um, fire kit inside there to keep it dry, or you can put your some little, maybe little toiletries. I use them for um, what I call brew kit, sort of um, drinking and sort of condiments and that sort of stuff, some sachets, because I've always got sachets of sauces and salts and peppers. And it's quite nice to have it inside there. You know he's gonna have it in one little place. So for three of those for a pound, I oh, no, actually no, wrong. They were one pound 50, so they were a little 50p more. And then the final sort of things um, which I bought this year for the for um, hygiene is that they had little mini carabiners of hand gel, which is quite nice maybe to clip on the outside your kit with this day and age with COVID and that sort of thing to hang them down to tra hand travel sanitizer. Last year they did have some lip, some paper soap towels and hand warmers. I haven't seen them in Poundland at the moment, but as the season comes on, we might see them coming out a little bit more. And then. The last sort of things, what I said about the storage 
side of it. They also had a pack of five little mini pots. This is the one I had from one spent left over from last year. I bought two of these, one I used and um, I put salts and peppers. I make my own seasonings up and I put them inside there. So they're really, really handy to take around. And then they've got their metal cups, so metal cups, plates and bowls. I couldn't find my plate and bowl. <laughs> I have used it. Um, I'm not entirely sure the dishwasher's safe because my plate has gone quite white. It started off black and it's been in the dishwasher about four or five times over the last sort of few months and it's turning, starting to turn white. So I'd probably recommend not putting it inside the dishwasher and just washing it by hand. But they are quite nice and you can clip them on. Well, I've seen people clip them on the outside of bags. I hate it when you put them outside of bags, but you've got your carabiner if you want to, to hook it onto things to give you more space. So we've got those. And they've also got a little mini cook pot which does come with an aluminium lid. I've, this one I had from last year. I thought I had the lid, but I went to the storage cupboards a minute ago and the lid wasn't in there for some reason. So I need to locate that, but the clips are quite hard to get off, but it does make a nice little pot. And then you've got a little frying pan or a little plate to cook, or cook off as well. So they're nice little handy little things they've still got inside there. Right, so that is everything in the current line of Poundland at the moment. They've all roughly got the same thing. Some stores have got some things different. Um, so I've had to go around a couple of stores just to find this sort of stuff. So there might be some hidden gems which I haven't seen yet. If I do come across some more decent stuff, I might do a part two for, tw uh, for 2021. I've just remembered a comment that someone put inside there. Um, I'll screenshot it and put it up here. It says, how much are these items? I think I've just thought about what I've said on here. I think I've said for a pound, probably about 20 times. Well, you can buy this for a pound and you buy this for probably what you meant actually. I probably said things cost a pound. Well, obviously they cost a pound because it's pound land, isn't it? Or is it? Because some things do cost one pound fifty or two pound or three pound or five pound. They're starting to sneak some things in. <laughs> That's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video. It's starting to rain a little bit more heavier now, so I'm going to get this stuff put away. But just remember though, get your, if you want to just grab some stuff, go out and have a good time. Uh, if you check this video out up here, it's me and my son Jacob um, two years ago now when he was eight. Well, he's, he's 11 now, so it's come up to three years. Where we went out for a £10 challenge. We went into the pound land, spent £10, bought everything we needed for an, uh, for overnight, an overnight shelter, food, water, um, cooking equipment. And we had a really good blast. So if you want to check that out, um, see, see what we got up to. But that's it though. Just remember, it's better we. One with the wilderness, then to fight the struggle. Into the next video, if and how. Let's get this. Going.